What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode on the Weston Smith channel. Today we've got a little something different in store for you. We are finishing our dream kayak trailer. We actually bought this bad boy earlier this year. It's a 12 by six, just basic utility trailer that has a gate that closes at the back. And we figured what better way than deck the trailer out to be able to have friends and family get out on the water with us. What we ended up doing is taking the kayak trailer to a weld shop and had these crossbars mounted onto it to be able to have more kayaks and accessories mounted here on top. So what we're gonna be doing is prepping this, painting this, and adding on those additions back at the house. And at the end of today's episode, we'll give you a full rundown and a tour of the trailer finished up with the kayaks and accessories on top. Oh, guys, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and get the trailer prepped and ready, mask it off, tape it off, and we've got some uh, just Krylon Fusion spray paint. We're going gloss black since it's a lime green with kind of a high shine on there. Needless to say, we found a paint booth out here. We're trying to stay out of the 100 degree Texas heat, and we're at like an abandoned bank. Um, so we figure it's as good a place as any. Won't get over spray on anything really. So let's go ahead and get this thing taken care of. All right, y'all, that is a professional tape and masking job if I've ever seen one. Check us out, man. We have got to go ahead and get started because when the wind picks up, this paper is going to go flying, and we've just got this thing rigged down as good as possible. If you guys want to know what we're all in for on this trailer at the moment, we paid $500 for the crossbars to get welded on. I think we paid $1325 for the trailer. Devin found it on Craigslist in this lime green color with black wheels. We're like, oh, we got to have that for the content, man. And then we're about $15 bucks in on paint and newspaper. So. All right, time to start painting. All right, y'all, first coat's done. We're going for function over form on this one, but uh, check that thing out. I think this is gonna look pretty mean when we get all this uh, paper off here. All right, two coats down. Let's go ahead and get it untaped. Looking pretty good. All right guys, back to the house for phase two. Quick pit stop at the storage unit. I'm actually grabbing one of the bona fide kayaks. That way we can put it on here once we've got the accessories mounted. And uh, yeah, so let's get it loaded up. Did you know that 90% of all uploaded YouTube videos will never reach 1,000 views? Quick canes break, Devin's out running some errands and then we are going to go ahead and start installing the accessories on the trailer. All right, guys, so errands are run. We're back at the abandoned bank because we got to install the accessories. We figured we would do it in the shade, and our garage is completely packed full of all kinds of stuff right now. So we're going to go ahead, and we're going to take the Yakima Topwater. This is a eight combo rod and reel storage and put it onto the trailer. We're also going to be transferring this onto the trailer. So we're going to have one more space for a kayak on top of the bars plus eight rod and reels and our two on the bottom. For now, we're probably going to end up being able to put four kayaks on this thing total very soon, you guys. It is all coming together. First things first, we're going to go ahead and take everything off the STI. This is one of two connector pieces for the rod and reel storage. All right, y'all, we had to make a quick pit stop over at Lowe's because these little nuts that are on the original assembly for the kayak holders are not big enough to support the three-inch crossbars we got. So we had to come over here. It's starting to look like the storm is on the horizon too, man, so we gotta get this stuff installed quick. All right, y'all, what a little setback in the timeline, but check it out. This thing is fitting snug now. Uninstallation on the STI has proven to be a little challenging, almost stripping a couple of the bolts, but finally feel like we're getting somewhere. Let's go ahead, get the top water off the STI and on the trailer. All right guys, so on the top water, all you literally do is you slide around this plate that's gonna lock in this guy right here from the underside, and you take these two fasteners and you tighten them down, locked in place. Oh, barely. All right, guys, we're sliding this bracket in position right over the crossbar, and you can see we have got just enough clearance to get these things on there and tighten them down. Trying to tighten them up evenly. Woo, this is exciting. All right, guys, I don't want to break this thing, but it is on there secure, man. This, this is sick. 
Definitely a little bit easier access than on top of the car, guys. This thing can accommodate up to eight combos, fully rigged. We will show you guys when we get back to the house. You can even lay tackle trays down on the bottom or anything else you want to take with you. You can see it's got that locking system. Go ahead and close that up. Lock it down. She's locked up. The STI is starting to look naked. All she's gonna have is crossbars, man. Tell us what we should put on top of the STI down in the comments section, because we gotta be looking for some new accessories. What can we do with the car, man? We're thinking maybe some red mud flaps for it too. We got ideas, man. If you guys wanna see us modify the STI a little bit further, go ahead and let us know down below. All right, guys, so this is the reason why we had to make a trip to the store. Uh, the pieces that come with the Yakima, unfortunately, with these bigger bars, it's just not long enough, so we had to get these longer. I wanna say these are five inch opposed to maybe three, two and a half inches or so. So let's go ahead get this one rigged up. We'll show you the finished product here in a second. Uh, I think the rain's coming, y'all. We better get this done quick. It's so foggy. Well, good timing on that. Starting to come down. But look at that trailer, dudes. Ho, 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 ho. Three kayaks, bona fide SS 127, Old Town Canoes, PDL 106, Old Town Autopilot 120, man. It is about to be a party. And we got eight combos on here, so we can really go have fun, do some awesome challenges, and just good times out with the kayaks, man. The thing turned out so good. And we're also gonna leave open the option to take our last bona fide out on the top here and maybe take this off. Nothing's really set in stone, man. Let us know what else we should do to deck out this trailer. So now that we've got the tailgate back on there, you can see the bona fide literally locks in perfect. It noses up through here. There's gonna be no shifting. And it backs right up to the end of the gate. So you don't even have to strap the Bonafide down. It's perfect. Now, the PDL 106, it's got that rudder and that will bash up against the tailgate and could potentially damage it. So what we're gonna have to do with the PDL 106 is just strap it to the front. That way it doesn't slide back. Same thing with the one on top, the Autopilot 120. We're gonna use the supplied Yakima straps that come with the big catch kayak accessory. And so we'll actually be able to strap the Autopilot 120 down to each one of those, and that way it won't shift forwards or backwards at all either while driving. So it's not gonna hit the back of the tailgate and it's also not gonna fly into the truck. So, all right guys, we wanted to give you the full tour out there in the sunshine, but uh, there's not much sunshine left, man. So <laughs> we're gonna show you guys how you can deck this thing out with some combos for your travels, and then we're gonna go ahead and call it a day. So these straps that are built in, rubber straps, I just set those to the side. We're gonna start with a bait caster. I like to set the reel space down, that way all the weight is on the underside. So there's one combo. Then we're gonna stagger these. I'm just gonna show you three, but we've put eight in here before. So this is actually a spinning setup. Let's go ahead and set this one down. Put the butt into the rod. There's these individual seats. You can see right here how there's a little recession. That allows those rods to sit in there nice and secure. So that's rod number two. Now we just go back and forth. And if you stagger the reels, you've got enough room for all eight combos. Uh, you wouldn't be able to put all eight in facing one direction because the reels would be too cluttered and take up too much space. That's why we go back and forth with it. So we're gonna toss this one in. This one is actually very important, guys, because this is a seven foot 10. This is just about an eight foot rod. This is a big swim bait rod, and check this out. It's gonna go in here with room to spare. So literally, I've even put our eight foot heavy rod in here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that strap back over the rods. You can see it keeps them pinned down nice and secure. We're gonna go from the front to the back. That way tips are secured, butt ends are secured. There's gonna be no shifting while you're driving. And I mean, we've taken these things off road in the STI and they've been completely fine. So now you've got your rods and reels locked down safe and secure. Close this bad boy, lock it up. This might as well be out there in the rain, man. I mean, it is that awesome. It's covered, you don't have to worry about your gear. It is one of the things that has really taken this kayak trailer over the top and made this our dream setup, guys. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for future videos showcasing this on a lot of our trips with a lot of friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you see those guys. We'll catch you tomorrow.